So have you ever seen any water cycle illustration that have a city inside? I don't think I have seen any of that. So let's find out why. What is water cycle actually? I think all of you have learned about the water cycle when you were in secondary school or high school. The water cycle is include three process evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Basically, the water evaporates from the earth's surface, rise into the atmosphere, cools and condenses into rain or snow in cloud, fall again into the surface as precipitation. This process is how nature recycles its water for millions of years. Fun fact, the amount of fresh water on the earth nowadays is equivalent to that in the age of dinosaurs. Then, humans appeared and they like natural suck. So they build houses, buildings and cities everywhere around the globe. And the modern nature like, bro, what are you doing? This have been a perfect system for millions of years. Why do you have to change it? And human like, don't you see, is it dangerous out there? We just want to be alive. But you will die anyway. And the fact that you are interrupting my perfect system. Now, how are you gonna recycle those fresh water? We will figure it out. Because we are smart. Okay. Let's see. So the human build water treatment plant in every city and they think that they have solved the problem. However, when there is a rain in the cities, the water just evaporate or go back to river to their water treatment system. It cannot get into the ground and recharge ground water. Plus, human love to use ground water because it is fresh and can be used for domestic purpose. So if there is no fresh water system provided, they can just drill a well and extract fresh water from it. With small recharge rate and high extraction rate, a large amount of ground water decreases and when the ground water disappears, there is nothing between these pores where water used to flow. So naturally, all the dirt have to fill up these pores which make the surface going down. How you gonna deal with that? Uh, okay. I guess we have to study the nature, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the solutions for these environmental problems? I will do this in another video. Stay tuned.